That was insightful. Mm-hmm. Much learned. Yeah. Many revelation. Mm-hmm. So yeah, what's Yana and Samson doing? <laughs> It might be, it might come to a surprise, but Samson's just a little bit more pissed off than he was before. <laughs> I could only imagine why! Yeah, it's, it's a real big surprise to everyone. Oh, not fuck. even Zanzibar would be able to figure it out. Oh god, definitely not. I mean, he's not a mission after all. No. Oh, um, Nim will ask Samson, was any of the stuff you found broken? Because I can fix it. Oh, uh, yeah, you want to clear up some tatters on this cloth and, uh, see if I'm, I like, uh, tinker with this little hunting trap. Okay. Nim's gonna fix the cloth. And while she does that, I want to try and, like, piece the thing back together. Alright, uh, what role would that be? I mean, stuff like that is usually, like, a thieves' tool role. Yeah, so I guess use some thieves tools. All right. Uh, dexterity. Uh... If you're tinkering with little parts, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. that seems about right. Uh, yeah, you managed to scrap enough parts together to um fix the trap you're working on from the other two right, broken well, ones. So I'll put two hunt traps. Zim is gonna eat a sugar bomb. That's it. Uh, oh, that's the candy the you have to try. One. Yeah. Yeah, you uh, pop the sugar bomb in your mouth and are hit with a natural 20 level of sweetness. Ah, oh, fantastic. This is great. It is the sweetest... It is the single sweetest thing... You have ever eaten in your entire life. Nim's eyes dilate. <laughs> <laughs> it, Nim. Um, uh, and as you uh, roll it around in your mouth, every once in a while you, f you figure out why it's called a sugar bomb. Because as you're rolling it around in your mouth, the, the a small outer layer of sugar will just go kind of like explode. It's like a pop rock, but it keeps pop rocking. I'd say Nim authors. Like every five seconds. Nice. Uh, an outer layer, which is very thin. It's like less than a millimeter thick, will just pop off in your mouth. Nice. Yeah. Nim will offer Samson some candy. What was that little letter leather you had earlier? Well, Kiala had some fruit leather. I'm a little package myself. Can I get some of that? Jade, you here? I'm here. <laughs> He's not saying anything. Kiala! She's still just staring off. Yala! Uh, and then once he says her name a good few more times, her ear just flicks back. You quit zoning out. Let me have some of that fruit leather. Uh, without doing the first thing, she does <laughs> the second thing. And passes him two or three pieces. Nim asked Samson, is Callie gonna be okay? Nim, I don't know if any of us are going to be okay. 
And from the front of the water bug, you just see Rhino like try and tilt his head straight backwards and just hear hungry? Rhino, we're good for now. You Let's want some see. candy? Rhino is good, thank you. Alright. I feel like we can skip time now. Unless something happens. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you'll skip straight forward to noon. And, uh, does Simpson want to do anything at high noon? No. There is no ye high. Oh, no! The ye has not hard. The ye has not hard, and the hard the has not. The print of unyeed our ha. <laughs> so yeah, it's high noon, and at this point, Rhino kind of has uh, stopped sitting right with the reins on Lily. But he's still holding them. He's moved to, like, the center of the bug, and he's kind of just got them wrapped over his shoulder. And he's not even, like, looking at Lily. He's just playing around with stuff in his bag. So he's multitasking right now. And he starts setting out some stones on top of Lily in a circle. I'm gonna be right back, but continue. Yeah. And you see him take out... Uh, some pieces of wood and he starts laying them after he lines the bottom of the circle with other stones. So he starts laying them in this like very shallow bowl of stones. And Samson, since you weren't paying attention, you notice that what he's pulling out of the bag in total is much larger than the bag is itself. So it dawns on you that this large bag he's ha holding has to in fact a be a bag of holding. Bag of holding. Wow. Wow. Hey, uh, Rhino, where'd you get that bag? And Rhino looks up at you and goes, Rhino bought it. Rhino need place keep things. Oh. He used the term bought. You people. bought it. Mm-hmm. From a town, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. Not on Zanzibar. Mm-mm. Rhino go out and do things. Rhino mercenary. Rhino collect money, bring it back, give to captain. Captain go buy things. Bring back mm. for people. I see. Yep. Mm. Um, ain't gonna do me no good. I take he's trying to start a bonfire? Yeah, he's actually laying out a campfire. But it's much more neat and organized than you've ever seen any other campfire be. It's literally built with intent. <laughs> and he's like wrapping bits of uh, like twine around pieces of wood. And you notice is as the twine's laying on the wood, it looks wet and it's dripping with something. And you being an uh, adventurer yourself, you realize that he's wrapping like bits of oiled twine around. Possibly to help keep the fire going or even start it up easier. And after a few minutes of this, he starts putting up a metal grate over the top. And you realize that this uh, eight foot ogre, or not ogre, orc, is building a grill. No, oh, I had the feeling. He said he could cook. So, as he does that, uh, lost my train of thought for half a second. So, he does that, and he takes out a stone, another stone, and he places it on top of the reins as he makes his way down to the sand cacklers that are still on Lee Lane. Mm -hmm. So, if you follow him, you know, follow his gaze, because 
you can see the top of his body because he's just so damn tall. But he's cutting up the sand cacklers as you might imagine. But from where you're sitting, you can't actually see how he's doing it. You have I'll to stand move up then. You stand up and go over to observe Rhino? Yeah, might as well. And you see he's taking the provision tag off and he's slicing some of the belly meat out. And he's cutting it in a way that you didn't think to. He's literally kind of like trying to put his big old fingers in between the muscle fibers. And he's taking his knife and he's running it down the tendon so that he breaks it off where the tendon connects to the ligament. And he's just pulling mm -hmm. out these like good strips of meat. Mm, chicken tenders. <laughs> basically, chicken, chicken wing, tendies. Chicken wing. And he gathers up a couple of these basically meat ropes. And he grabs both ends and he kind of just starts snapping them like a belt. Which, because the meat's so tough, it's actually holding up to this. But you notice that as he's doing it, his hands are getting slightly farther apart each time. Not majorly, but just enough that when he's done with this process, you know, the meat is now tenderized in a way that you wouldn't have thought possible. Now it's like normal meat, but it's just hanging much looser and longer. Mm. And he slaps another ration tag on it, and he brings it back up to the grill, which he reaches into his kit, and he lights with an actual lighter. And clearly something from the outside world. Not like a tinder right box here. or anything, but like an actual lighter. Light, like a Zippo lighter. Thanks. Big enough for his hand. He flips the cap open and strikes the wheel a few times. And he kind of like presses a few... I, I wouldn't call them levers or buttons, but they're just like some things that allow him to adjust the flame. And the flame comes out with a little bit of oomph. And he just lights the tinder in the fire. So this guy's got gadgets and know-how galore. Mm. And he sits there and he holds the meat for a few seconds. And he puts his hand over the grate. And when he feels the grates, or the grate and slash griddle, the, the grill. God, words. He throws these uh, tendons over the fire and they hit the grate and they... Tss. start cooking away. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. One so Give me a sec. Giving sec. Does Nim join in on this fall the roll? Yeah. Nim asks, why'd you smack it on your hand? Sand, sand cackler be tough, but tenderize if snap. So, rhino snap makes all good cook. How long have you been cooking? Mm. Since I your size. Nim takes a look at him, thinking how tall he is and then tries to imagine a small version of him. Chibi Rhino. Marketable yeah. plushy Rhino. <laughs> Please do not make Rhino eat a marketable plushy. Too Bye. late, it's already on the market. Damn. By no sad. <laughs> Are we talking about marketable Samson? No, marketable uh... Rhino. I would buy a marketable rhino. Nim asked him how long he's been cooking, and he said since he was Nim's size. So she was imagining small rhino. Oh, yeah, it's a two foot rhino. Rhino <laughs> <laughs> small! <laughs> I'm rhino! I'm rhino! I kick! And 
Nim, Nim will ask if he can make her one too, as she does not know how to cook. Yeah, and he nods. He put enough on the grill for everybody. Oh, okay, I didn't know. He also, while that's sizzling away, calls out from his bag of tricks a folk uh, plate set. Uh, thankfully, someone has one. <laughs> yeah, he's got a whole cookware set. So, as he's doing all this, I'm gonna sit back down. And, um... Samson's going to do something that he has yet to do this whole time. Oh. Uh, joke? He is going to take... He is going to uh, unload the uh, standard bullets from his guns and put it all in the atom bullets. Oh, no. <laughs> all three also, guns. I forgot to say this, but, like, once we, like, stepped away from the dead bodies, Nim cleaned Samson's shoes. Yeah, I imagine at yeah. some point there was a, uh, hey, my shoes yeah. are bloody. Can you uh, wiggle your fingers? And then was like, okay. <laughs> nah, Samson didn't even care about that. Yeah, just, no, uh, Nim also didn't ask. You just did it. Nim, Nim will not Shit's be hurt. around gross ass blood. Not on Lily. Yeah. Lily will not be tread on with the blood of the enemies. Exactly. Well, they're not enemies, but whatever. Well, uh, some people say this. I'm trying to I'm trying to acknowledge all viewpoints. <laughs> Anywho. Uh so yeah, Samson will load in his uh his guns like that. And Rhino will take some herbs and flowers out of one of his cooking pouches. And he'll start grinding them in a mortal and pestle and sprinkling them over a few of the strands. Not all of them, but a, s a select few. Insulting the others. So while he cooks, you know, what do? Watches. I'm actually going to go up to Kiala. And I assume she's absolutely zonked out again. Yeah, no, she's she's got her... Miles there. Even the smell of good cooking won't bring her out of it. Yala. Yala. Her ear just turns toward him again. Look at me. No. She just doesn't. <laughs> Look at me. Say please. <laughs> I assure you that won't help. <laughs> Can't even disassociate in peace. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let me disassociate. I don't wanna. So, Samson's gonna. Not even, like, hard, but he's just gonna, like, firmly just, like, put a, put his hand on, like, her knee. Uh, he twitches at that. I need you to look at me. And then she looks in the opposite direction. No, what? Never mind. I don't care anymore. I Sad. just don't care anymore. Sad. Tragic. All it took... All it took for you to become a piece of dead weight with some angry pirates. Two people walking out on us. Honestly, I wish the cat that fat king would have called someone else. <laughs> and Charlie's just like, oh shit, me too!
and she'll, uh, she'll sigh quietly and just say, did you need something? I need you be not this. <laughs> Honestly, that's the best thing. <laughs> and he's just gonna like gesture, just not this. I was doing the same thing when I said that. I was like making a motion with my hands. Yeah. You just gestured that's to all of all. me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> God, where is that from? It's from How to Train Your Dragon. Okay. His dad's like, I'm disappointed in this. And he's like, You gestured in, to in all this, of me. In this, it's like, You gestured to all of Yes, I remember yeah. now. That was a good movie. Never saw the sequels. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I need you to stop being all of this. And what should I be instead? Vigilant? Ready? I don't Yester know. Yell. The yell of yesterday. Maybe give the two of us that are here a reason to be happy that you're with us. Instead of uh, scared so that you're will... just going to... <laughs> scared that you're just not going to move in case anything happens. Don't be absurd. I do what's needed to survive. And is what's needed to survive being quiet like some sort of lapdog? She just looked Is it quiet. skipping meals? Is it not formulating a plan of attack in case two people who just slaughtered two innocent turn their blades at us? Uh so she's she's quiet. And if you look at her hands, they're bleeding again. I don't know. Oh no. Oh, no. What, can Rhino, like, smell blood? Like, what? No, I was just being a meme. <laughs> Rhino shark! <laughs> Rhino smell! Mmm! Blood! You know what? I think Samson will look. He'll notice Yala's hand, and he'll, like, grab her by the wrist. Oh, she's changing. She visibly flinches. Like, whole body. <laughs> Is she back to poopy again? <laughs> Poof! <laughs> Poof! Yeah, what the fuck happened to your hand? Yalla, Sam! <laughs> Yell's not sad. Yell's angry and sad. She's mad. She's mad. Yeah, we have, we have yet to hit on the main emotion. Empty? Devoid? So, so she just flinches from that. But yeah. I assume she's still not making eye contact. Uh, no, she's- she's probably looking at you, but not eye contact. Uh, looking through you. Yeah. She is looking in the location where Samson is, but she doesn't necessarily seem like she sees Samson. <laughs> this whole thing has turned into just way more than it was ever going to be. And if you want us to still be alive after all of this, you need to get your head in the game. Gotta get you, get you, get your head in the game. I'm sorry. Okay, it's I don't know what's holding in you the back. Background. I don't know if it's fear. I don't know if it's apprehension. I don't know if it's sadness. Or I don't know if you've given up. But, and as like as he says, he's gonna like tense up his grip just a little bit. You need to. I'm not going to tell you to get over it. I'm still not over it. 
But if you can't at least function, then things are only going to get worse. Because we have like a day to get over this. <laughs> She stares at you a bit longer. Do you see her jaw move a little bit? Like, her mouth's not open, but it seems like she's moving her jaw slightly. And then she just is like, apologies. I don't need your apology. I need to know you're still there. If I could be in the house. <sighs> he's gonna sign, he's gonna like overhand the you and me both. No drink to that statement. No drinking for you, Nim. Bleh. <laughs> I didn't have Nim actually just walking up and being like, I'll drink to that, and he's like, no. <laughs> no, you won't. None of us will. I oh, have I'm the only high. Like... I don't know about y'all. <laughs> I have the only liquor on us right now. How's the food coming along? Oh, uh, he's finished. No, like he's will. finishing up. Oh. I imagine, like, I mean, there's just this big mysterious moment, and the camera's just showing both of them. And then there's just Rhino in the background holding like this tiny plate in his giant hands. He's like, "Move <laughs> on." I mean, uh, puffs. Do, <laughs> do you look at Rhino? I'll look at Rhino. So, you weren't paying attention to him up until this point, but. As you look up, you can only imagine he's been staring at you this entire time, and he's just kind of like slightly looking at you, just with one eye over his shoulder. And, and as Me? you specifically, or like at the two one. of you, and as you look at him, he kind of turns away and goes back to like finishing food prep, plating the food and everything. Oh, if it wasn't clear, I just realized it might not have been. He was, it was a very, like, hard look. Like a glare. Wasn't like a malicious glare, but it was very serious. It was a leer. Yeah, he was examining you guys, watching you intently. Nimass, what are you looking at? <laughs> Does she? Yeah, Nim's like, chilling with Rhino. No, watching them makes sure okay. Guess he finishes doling out the plates. Nim will. Nim's like, I'll give them their food, and she'll like. He bring over their plates. Yeah, he hands one. Um, he hands one to you. The first one he hands to you, he says, "This for tabaxi." That means it's drugged. What? You put flowers, uh, you pulled out flowers earlier, remember? Um. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> okay, so Nim makes a mental note. This is for Kiala. Yeah, and then he's he... saying that out loud, right? Yeah. He's not whispering. You'll take that plate? Mm hmm. Okay. So, you, you... You took Kiala's plate? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Nim goes, why did you take Kiala's plate? I'll give it to her. Okay. And then you hand one plate to Samson? Yeah. And that leaves... Well, I hand both. Plate. If, he's, if he's gonna give Kiala her plate, Nim hands him both plates. Fair enough. I'll take both plates. But I'm not handing it to Kiala yet. Fair enough. And then Nim goes and gets her plate. Alright, what do with plates? 
Oh, you I thought you said he like pleaded them, right? Oh, yeah, I'm talking to Rebel now. Yeah. You back to some sort of normal? <laughs> it seems like you're distracted. <laughs> Again. She can smell the drugs. <laughs> Gala. Hmm. Are you back to normal? Uh, she'll be like, honestly? As honest as you're willing to answer. And, yes. And it's just probably so obviously a lie. And it's not even worth saying. <laughs> would, would I know that it's a lie without a check? I don't know, because the last time Hiala tried to intimidate you, you thought she was a baby. <laughs> True. So okay. I don't know how much Hiala lore you really pick up on. I mean, Samson's got an eye out for stuff like this, so... Um... It's always just real fate. Yeah, I, I can't think of anything better to roll or do, so roll me fade. I mean, I was just gonna roll insight, but it'd be the same die either way. That is true. <laughs> Yeehaw. You you kind of feel like she's telling a half truth. <sighs> I don't believe you. I want to lie up. But I don't believe you. But I want to. And he's just gonna hand her the plate. He grabs it, looks it over. Checks for poison. <laughs> Checks for poison? Yes. Mm, certainly poisoned. Just <laughs> uh, how would one check for poison? How did I smell? Uh, I want- I think it's usually like medicine. Uh, uh, you want to roll me a medicine check at advantage? Cause you got a keen sense of smell. Sure. Huh. Thank you. advantage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank God, advantage! I just saw that five, and I was, my heart was just like, <laughs> my heart deflated, deflated like Samson's hopes of being friends with Brian. <laughs> Low. Bring friends with anyone. Um, you sniff, you smell, and you can clearly smell the edible arrangements of your own personal doom. However, they smell different, not nearly as potent, as if being cooked down has altered them in so way, in some way. But you get no in indication of poison from this. Okay, she eats it. You eat it, and it is just as you thought. Somehow, someway, you're not sure how, but cooking with these herbs instead of eating them straight up manages not to make you completely high, and in fact just has the more good, soothing, happy properties of this cat drug. Okay, so it is still acting as a drug. About as much as the candy did, which is more, it's okay. like a dopamine hit rather than actually turning on and off neurochemistry and fucking you up to the astral plane. <laughs> uh, so about how quickly are these effects? Huh? About how fast, what is the onset of these effects? Uh, the onset of these effects are the, are literally the same amount of effect as somebody being sad and sitting down with a tub of ice cream. It's just dopamine. So it makes you Yeah, pretty much. It just okay. it makes you feel better. This is comfort food. You have been given comfort food by the big happy go lucky green man. 
Mm -hmm. Is he an orc or a goliath? He, he is a big orc. Ah. He is not a goliath. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at drug stuff at the moment. Just checking something. Just checking on drugs, you know. Yeah. For my, for my personal record, to see how she's going to respond. It's just basically a dopamine hit. It's like a kid eating candy, or... Like a nim eating candy. It's not psychotropic. Oh yeah, I, I know. I'm just, I'm comparing it to another type of drug in particular. Alt crack, I'm kidding. <laughs> Alt ligma. <laughs> I'd laugh out loud if you were comparing it to the um, chemical compound found in catnip. That'd be hilarious. Uh, so I'm comparing it both to that and another thing, which oh. I can... I could show you, but it's more fun if I don't. <laughs> I'll go for the more fun option for $400,000. <laughs> so shut no, up and I'm take my money. I will DM it to you. I'm a little curious. You <laughs> want it sent. Ah! Oh, this chair won't roll forward. Yeah? You could send it to me if you want. So I assume we eat in, like, relative peace, and everyone enjoys their food. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this should probably explain some things. Oh! <laughs> oh! My brain! What, did you give him a hit of it? Like, through the internet? <laughs> yeah, pretty much! Whoa! <laughs> we getting deep! We spent taking down my vessel. I'm sorry! Uh, I'm not, that's what you deserve. What? Oh my so... god, good hooks, good hooks. Oh man. Anyway, yeah, go on. Y'all eat relative- yeah. Uh, Sam, Sony, and Nim, you eat yours, and you, from what you could tell, the only spices put on are salt. But for some god unknown reason, this meat is a lot sweeter and less gamey than it was when Samson made it. Not overly sweet, but like, it's subtle. I wouldn't say sweet in a way that Samson would be like, eat grass. It's not like it's been sugared. It's like, oh god, what's a good explanation? Natural juices. Yeah, kind of like that. Like, less sweet, I'd say, than even a bell pepper. I can't think of anything less sweet than that. It's just yeah. tasty. Nim's down. Uh, how big is Nim's portion? That's important. Uh, enough to feed you. Works for me. It's not a skimped out meal. And there's some accompanying, like, starches and vegetables. Nothing you immediately recognize. Also, yeah, I was about to say, if Simpson ate the fruit leather, then he damn well can't be like you at this. Well, yeah, but that fruit leather was made of that, like, berry he already liked. And isn't very sweet in the first place. Was it? I can't yeah. Remember. Yeah, because oh, okay. yeah, Kiala specifically had made it for Samson. Oh, yeah, Candyman made fruit leather. Right, now I remember. Memory jogged. World achieved. Nim will ask what these veggies are. And I know I'll look up and be like, Nana Roots. Two birds. Rhino Collect. Meat. Thank you, Rhino. 
Rhino will, he won't look at you, but it will go, you are welcome. Oh yeah, Nim didn't say thank you, so she'll say, thank you. Yellow's mouth is too cool to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> what is, what is it's like everyone's like right pacing now? ourselves and Yellow's just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he acknowledges it. I think that's the first lunch the party's ever had. <laughs> and a, well, the second lunch the party's ever had. Yeah. Yeah! yeah. So, uh, you finish up your meal, uh, what do? Nim asks Rhino questions about his life. Ella's gonna go over the same scene. Uh, can you give me something more specific than simply his entire life? Well, Nim... Is pretty much asking for his life story, but she'll be like, So, what was it like for you growing up? Hard. Not hey, many war guns, Zanzibar. <laughs> That's a bit too, uh, on the nose to sit down and be like, Did your parents love you? <laughs> I need to stop drinking water. But yeah, no, he yeah. says hard and that there's not many orcs on Zanzibar. We fight? thing around. Make sure people safe. Must be easy because you got big muscles. No. Zanzibar unforgiving. Things are big. Mean. They hurt Rhino. But Rhino hurt back. Man, that sucks. For him, a lot. But Nim says, "Is that how you learn medicine and stuff?" No. Rhino I mean, learned... why? Is that why you learn medicine? Rhino learned medicine so that Rhino can keep self healthy when taking out targets. What kind of targets do you take out? Whoever Zanzibar's. Not Zanzibar. Whoever Rhino is told to take out. Rhino take job. Some people want enemy erased. Some people want others captured. Rhino doesn't ask questions. Rhino goes, succeeds, gets paid, makes rounds, come back to meet with Captain Rosebeard and give money. We should ask specifically what are we in, in his assignment? Yeah, like, she's like, so are we like your charges or something? What are we? And he'll kind of pause for a second. Then he'll look up at you, and that, that serious look has returned. <sighs> Rhino is tasked with making sure. Red Salamander and Blue One are returned, not breathing. But Rhino is also prepared to do the same if you try to betray Rhino. Damn. All right. <laughs> it was just like, damn. <laughs> I know what that like, means now, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what fuck means right now? <laughs> <laughs> right now, do many fuck yes! Oh! That was awful. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing it's not canon! Yeah. Aww. So, no we'll go, I see. But we're cool, right? Like me and you? I'm kidding. <laughs> Um. Yeah, so we can flash over to Samson and Haikala. I mean, I assume that conversation was out loud. Again. Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah. No attempts were made to muffle or hide. <sighs> We're not killing them. Man, he just said he was gonna kill us if we did <laughs> Don't tell him that now! <laughs> and Rhino kind of- Rhino kind of looks over his shoulder at you and he's like... You don't Good have parent. to! Rhino will do it. That's not what I mean. We're getting answers first and foremost. enough but they are going to be stopped I thought he was going to say pancakes and then I would have been like Nim, and then we would have been like I love pancakes <laughs> even when they're made out of dead friends but yeah no that's all he says basically like yeah you can ask your questions but you know, one thing will lead to another. <sighs> so, um, y'all want to insanely say I'm gonna talk? <laughs> I mean, we had our talk. I don't know if there's really anything more to get to. I mean, I she, she visually anyway. seems better. Okay, but okay, is she still cramming food down her gullet? Well, no, she wouldn't have finished before she came over. She didn't walk over while going. Oh, <laughs> she got over there and was like, "You gonna eat those?" <laughs> uh -huh. The first one. If you've got any theories on what the hell's going on, I'd love to hear them, because right now I'm just stuck in my own head. I think theorizing would be of much use at this point. Was that a Hyala or Rhino? That was a Hyala. I don't think Rhino's theories would really help, considering he doesn't know these two as yeah, a theoretical wanted poster. He actively doesn't care. He's just like, as long as we're dead by the end of this... But yeah, she she says uh, she doesn't think theories are going to help right now. <sighs> Theory requires some level of basic understanding, and I don't think we have that basis to put anything in. Well. Got a bit of a basis, but I'm not gonna lie, it's a little confusing. Mm. According to Nim, there was some sort of fleet magic put on all of us, at least to some degree. Mm. I don't know who that was to affect and who wasn't, but according to her little call with Zanzibar, he said that they weren't under any mind control whenever. Whatever it happened. I don't know why, but I was expecting- well, not expecting, because I don't think Yala would say it out loud, but since Yala was, like, zoned out, she'd be like, when the fuck did she talk to Zanzibar again? Oh, she's thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> she's not saying yeah. that out loud. Yeah. And you guys aren't making an attempt to hide this conversation, right? Uh, I feel like we might. Because if you yeah, are, I mean, you're going to have to make a Fiala, check. After what Rhino has said, Fiala's not putting any level of faith in him. I mean, I'll roll stealth. Yeah, go ahead. Alright. Nice. E. Huh. Yeah, you managed to talk- I can do rogue things! You managed to talk <laughs> low enough. Now... Again, 
I don't think that this is something they'd be capable of, at least from what we know. But the way that story went, and the way that that witness, she said that Prin got into some sort of anger fit. I don't want to say it's in character, but you've seen how he's been ever since he got here. He sulks. He doesn't attack. Listen, anyone could be pushed to an edge. Wait. I'm not saying that I believe it was him. But I'm not saying that it's not a possibility. I don't think here anything is an impossibility. <sighs> especially in all sucks. this especially yes. in all this Zanzibar crap we got rolled up into. Oh, and then forgot to tell you guys that Zantex is also tracking us, but that's a conversation for later. <laughs> that's a conversation for a different time. Uh, but she'll, um, she'll slightly change the topic and be like, I actually came over here to ask about something else. Mm hmm? And it's... I assume he has, he has his guns on him. Uh, I do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she, just kind of, she just kind of gestures with her chin towards one of them and asks I need the best I need to know the best way of disarming someone with one of these Got their hand up problem solved as in if someone were to hold a gun at you yes like what happened an hour ago <laughs> a few it's hours been a little ago right now. yeah this is now like what the afternoon yeah, I'd say it's yeah. probably anywhere from one to one to three. But yes, it happened earlier today, so she well, doesn't say that, but she's just like, yeah. Well, there's only a few reasons why someone with a pointed gun at you would be that close. One, you're stupid. Two, they've got backup. Or three. And then he's gonna like do a little flourish and point one of his guns at Yala. Like, they're real good at using them up close. And you, you notice something in her eye, and she actually looks scared for a half second. And after that, he's going to put it away. No flourish. <laughs> As he puts the gun away, he's gonna do it. He's like. There's two things about using a firearm. Both strong and very weak at the same time. And he's just gonna like show off his hand for a sec. He's like, it might not look it, but it takes quite a bit of effort to pull those triggers. In yes. fact, he's gonna pull out the gun again, but instead of pointing it at her, He's going to, like, pop the cylinder out and unload the bullets. And, uh, pop it back in and hand it to her. The hold. I'll be right back, but continue. So she'll now, handle it a little bit, just sort of turn it around. Takes quite a bit of force to pull those triggers double so and it takes a lot in out of you in order to handle the recoil mm. now for one you don't have to you don't have to wiggle your wrist you don't need your arm you don't need your shoulder you don't need your arm you just need to keep everything still point and fire and the other anything happens to their hand They'd have a better they'd have better luck coming at you with a knife than they would a gun. She's just pondering that. And another thing, I don't think I need to tell you this. 
but I will anyway. The most important part about hand about looking down the barrel of a gun is you wanna make sure you're the one striking first. Anything Internally, else? Internally, she's just like, man, if I had done that, shit would have gone down. Is anything else? And you're just waiting to be a bolt sponge. And then he's just gonna gesture for her to give her the, to give him back the gun. Uh, she she takes a few extra seconds and then passes it over. He'll pop the bullets back in. Yeah, give it a little twirl and then holster it back. Alright. Is Shay back? Yep, yeah, what's up? Okay, good. Just want to make sure you're back. So, as Barnell's cleaning up the camera the cooking thing. Well, no, no. Enough time's passed, he would have already packed that away. He's just... Well, some of them would have cleaned it. Yeah, them would have cleaned it. He's just sitting there, going through his inventory, not paying much mind to you because Samson was speaking low and Kiala followed suit. And then... Yeah. You, you kind of hear a bit of rustling off the side of Lily. Then she starts slowing down, right now, without even thinking about it, kind of just like moving automatically, moves the stones, grabs the reins, and kind of looks over to her, like why she's slowing down. Mm -hmm. And then, okay. which one's the one? Which one's the one? Oh yeah, here. There's the one. You, you see a very fucking big Zorn start to rise up off the side of Laylee, and she starts getting spooked. And he pulls her in and just starts going, shh, 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 shh. And this one's tan, but it's large. It's huge, and it looks mean. And it just looks at all of you and starts going, what the fuck? And stamping its feet. Uh, what do? Ella looks to Nim. What? <laughs> she, she, uh, does Nim say what, or? Oh, no, uh... Nim... is probably thinking about... Okay, so the Tanzoran are the ones we, like, fed earlier, right? Yes. Yes! So the ones that we were told are supposed to be our friends. Yeah, so... Nim's like, um... We don't have any more cold stone. And Can you, you just... understand any of what it's saying? Wait, Better what did you say? No, oh, you... if... go ahead. Can she understand what it's saying? Because I know Kiala had told Nim to sort of re make recordings of the types of sounds it was making. Oh, is that a question of me? What? No, I'm just saying what the thing is. Like, why she's looking at Nim. Oh, okay. Because with, oh, the, yeah, with so... the other ones, oh, okay. was like, hey, make note of noises, because we'd like to have at least a vague way of translating, even if it's, yeah. like, to determine intent. And Nim took notes. So does Nim understand, or any of, like, the verbiage the same? Um, you have a sub-beginner level of understanding, which is, in other words, you have no idea what it's saying, but you recognize the sounds. Nim, uh, turns her head to Kiala and shakes her head. Can and then... you tell if it's hostile? Uh, you look at it, and its eyes just narrow, and it kind of starts throwing a fit. But because of its size, it's really making a bunch of noise.